have just gotten back from a uh, trip and we only have about um, one week left of our summertime break period. Um, for those of you that don't know, I we year round homeschool and so, sorry, the sun. And so what that means for us is that we take breaks throughout the year instead of just having a solid three month um, time period off at once. So we finished our homeschool year um, about the end of April and we are almost to the end of May. So that is about a month break. That is the longest break that I take all year long. I've gotten asked that a lot too. Um, this is the longest break we take and it's kind of a reset time. I'm actually in my homeschool room right now. Um, it takes time to reorganize all of the uh, curriculum. It takes time to clean out this shelf. It takes time to go supply shopping. It takes time to do all those things. So this is our longest break of the year um, is between the end of one school year and the end of another. So today is actually a Wednesday when I am filming this, um, Wednesday, May 23rd. And uh, like I said, we've just gotten back from vacation, so I've been getting caught up on laundry and doing all those things. Um, so today I'm going to, well actually I don't, I wanted to ask you guys, I don't know if this happens to you, but when you've got a free day, like I'll show you my planner. See how there's nothing there? Somehow those days get to be the fullest. So I'm home right now, it's about 9.30 in the morning, but today um, my big project to get prepared for the school year is going to be um, supply shopping for our The Good and the Beautiful Science units. Um, I surveyed you guys over on Instagram and asked if you wanted me to show you and you all said yes. So I'm going to be doing that. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's always linked down below. Um, so we're gonna go supply shopping later this afternoon, but right now I'm at home um, just getting stuff done. So I thought I would show you what I'm doing and then we'll go school supply so shopping. So we've got laundry happening, washing bed sheets. And then over here in my bedroom, I've got some stuff I pulled out of my closet that I need to list on Poshmark. Um, this is not sponsored, but I'm honestly just trying it out. So I will link my, what's it called, my closet maybe down below if you guys wanna check that out. I'm really going for a more minimalistic wardrobe and don't judge me, but I kind of have a ways to go. This is just t-shirts. I'm not gonna show you the rest. And then over here in our playroom, I've had to clean out and move over all the toys because we are getting our uh, stair banister refinished. So um, needed to pull all that out, get that taken down. And then over here in my kiddo's bathroom, I needed to take down their plastic shower liner. Those things get so gross and I don't know if it's just because my kids um, have sports and they get really dirty when they shower, but the plastic liner that goes behind that was so gross and we keep we keep a pretty clean, I did not pre-clean this for you guys, so um, this is just the current state of their tub, and you can see it's pretty clean. So I have no idea why that liner gets so gross, but I ordered a new one on Amazon because it had to go. All right, you guys, so I've gotten done most of what I wanted to accomplish this morning, so now before we head out shopping, I am going through um, the very first science unit we're gonna be doing and making a list of every single thing that I do not already have in my house um, for all of these lessons. So that would be my recommended step one. Sit down, go through your house, like kitchen utensils, you already have those, so you don't need those. A highlighter, colored crayons, you're probably going to have all of these things. There's gonna be a few things um, that I do not have, which of course, what I'm going to go shopping for. So step one, go through it, make your list. So the next thing I recommend doing um, just for ease is once you've gone through your house and you've collected what items you already have here on this list, 
Um, obviously, I'm not going to like put my kitchen utensils in here. I'll just grab those out when the time comes. Um, or like yogurt, but um, like the, sh the yarn I can just keep in here. Um, and I go ahead and make a science box that's gonna be filled with everything we need for the whole course. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the store now to get everything else. I've made my list. Um, and of course your list will be different than mine based on what you've got um you know in in your house and what you already have in your possession but i'm going to go to the store and i'll take you guys with us and then we're going to fill this up so that we're all set for the first three months of our school year uh for science so it is uh later tonight and um about nine o'clock and my kids are all in bed but i needed to do a walmart grocery order which you can see here and um so this is not the total for all of the school stuff, but I am adding a few things to the school list, um, to the cart from, from uh, the school list that I wasn't able to find today when we were out shopping. So make sure you don't forget to utilize your online um, shopping as well for your supplies. So the clip you saw was about two days ago now. <laughs> I started filming that on Wednesday and it is currently Friday. Um, so sometimes things that I plan that I'm gonna get done, they don't get done in the day that I thought they were. We've had a lot going on, as you can see. The stair banister, um, like I showed you guys at the beginning of the video, has been getting painted and I, um, I just have had things, other things to do. But one thing and one little tip that I have for you guys is that if you are um, like, you know, we're all busy moms. So if you need to be productive and get things done, I write everything down at the beginning of the week that I need to accomplish. And then as long as I get it done before Sunday, <laughs> then that's okay. So sometimes I have to shuffle things around, but I do try to finish my list out for the week and not carry things into the new week because then I'm always feeling a sense of being behind. So the, on Wednesday, when for you guys it was just a few seconds ago, but for me it's been a minute since I picked up the camera, so I feel like I need to update you. Um, and if you hear like jingling noise, it's my my basset hound down there. Um, so I, uh, that day I did order some school supplies online. There are things for the Good and the Beautiful Science unit that you're probably not gonna be able to find. Oh look, Dorothy wants to say hi to you guys. <laughs> Um, that you're probably not gonna find in Target, Walmart, Costco. Um, one of those things is an optional item, but it is a microscope. I uh, did purchase that. Um, the agar, agar, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce those, uh, the plates um, for like growing organisms, um, I also went ahead and just ordered off of Amazon. So if you're looking for one that I recommend, it's gonna be down below, but I did order those. And then there were like random things like um, distilled water and uh, just like uh, buttons, like sewing buttons actually. Um, that I was able to add to my Walmart grocery order. So I got a few of those things through that. Um, so my school supplies are not all coming from one place, uh, some from Amazon and a few random things from um, Walmart, which I uh, showed you guys um, a little clip of in the previous clip. So today though is gonna be the day when we go out to the store because my kids honestly do like shopping for a few supplies. Um, that though, I just think it's so funny because when my older two were in public school, um, we would easily spend, and I, this is no exaggeration at all, we would easily spend around $1,000 for two kids on school supplies, um, and uniforms, um, and those were like the cheaper part of the equation. So, um, anyways, homeschooling, we only get what we need and the supplies, this is crazy time, <laughs> the supplies are only used by my kids. So I don't mind them choosing some things out. So 
we're gonna go get some supplies, let them choose out some things. Um, and then at the end of this video, I've decided I will add in a haul for you guys. So I'm gonna show you everything I got and explain kind of what it's for. Um, <clears throat> and then I'll show you the science box all packed up. So for real this time, let's go shopping. For the first time ever in Target history, I only have two bags in my cart. <laughs> we did well. So now on to the dollar store. And I may or may not bring you guys inside there because it's kind of small. So, um, but if I don't, then I'll definitely show you what I got at the dollar store. We've gone to a few different places for the school supplies we need this year for our homeschool. And I am currently in our homeschooling room getting ready to put it all away um, because we are gonna be starting our school year pretty soon. And um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys all of the supplies that we got. And then I will also show you how I packaged up our um, science box that I talked about at the beginning of the video. So. Um, one quick note, uh, I want you guys to understand something. I only buy what we need. As you can see, I've got supplies behind me, paper, scissors, glue, you know, I have supplies currently because your stuff lasts a lot longer when you're homeschooling. So this is just stuff that we needed. Um, so I really enjoy that part of homeschooling, actually not going out and buying a new backpack and lunchbox and like, thousands of dollars of stuff every year um that's totally unnecessary so i just wanted to point that out so you're not wondering like they didn't buy any crayons we already have crayons okay so right here i'm gonna start with the stuff that i got at target you guys saw us shopping there um so i went ahead and got the up and up brand of the construction paper for um making things, projects, crafts, whatever. Um, the next thing I got was a one inch binder for each of my kids. I already had a pink one for my daughter. So um, my boys uh, picked red, a red one and a blue one. And, um, and my daughter picked this teal one. Uh, the binders are gonna be used to basically just hold all of their 
um, sheets. They're um, student explorers for the good and the beautiful history. And also their um, science sheets will also go in there. And then any of, I put a few, um, their typing chart, what levels they've completed for the good and the beautiful typing chart will also go in here. So let me know if you guys want to see like a dedicated video to what I'm binder organizing, but I'm just trying to make one place where they can keep all of their stuff. Um, these were just a fun buy. They're the Crayola like sparkle crayons. Um, the good and the beautiful in the younger years, like especially the handwriting has a, has coloring in it and I love that. Um, so I wanted to get some fun crayons for them to color with. So let's see, that is everything from Target. Uh, the next stop we made was Costco, actually for food, and I did a, um, I did film what I got at Costco. I'm not sure if it'll go up or before or after this video, so either way. Um, they had the Who Was um, series, these different packs of three. They had the Inventors, which is what this one is, um, like Important Women and some other one um presidents but my kids love these books and i just they discovered actually very recently that there's a who was series on netflix of shows and so they're kind of like really loving those so we just got these as an addition to our homeschool library back here just for fun the inventors ones and then these 96 of the I'm not going to pronounce that name, but these pencils truly do last longer um, and they're kind of expensive. So this was at Costco, 96 of these for $9. I was super excited because that is the one thing my kids are always saying we don't have pencils. So they're going to help me sharpen all 96 of these before our school year starts. So that was from Costco. Um, then I also uh, did a little bit of um, supply shopping on Walmart. You guys saw that as well. So here's what I got at Walmart. Two reams, two of these, of the, of the printer paper. Um, we use this for printing, obviously. And then also um, my kids use it for drawing and then like projects. So I went ahead and got two reams of that. Um, to go along with that, we needed printer ink because printing out reports and papers, um, that's just always something we need in our homeschool. Uh, the rest of the stuff is for the science box. So it's going to be a little random, but I'm just going to show it to you. Um, paper cups, buttons, active dry yeast, balloons, pony beads. M&M's and another thing of balloons. Um, and then also, like I said earlier, I, I am ordering the microscope and the um, bacteria dishes off of Amazon as well. So I'll have the one I'm ordering linked down below if you guys want it. There's It's not sponsored, it's just what I'm buying. Um, so speaking of Amazon, I did order a few things on off of Amazon for the sole fact that I needed add-on items to get my free shipping. <laughs> so um, I got four of these small whiteboards because actually I got three because we already have one. Um, but I did, no, I did get four. I got four of these, the small whiteboards. We use these for lots of stuff. This is like a homeschool must have for math problems, for spelling with the younger ones, just everybody needs one of these. And they get pretty dingy, so we just needed new ones. So I got four of those. Um, my daughter is going to be in sixth grade, and so you know her work level is gonna be a little bit different. So I went ahead and got her some highlighters for highlighting um, some things with the good and the beautiful language arts and just other things that uh, she's gonna be needing a highlighter for. So that was it from Amazon. And then the last little stack I have to show you is from the dollar store. And I'm gonna start with this because I was so excited about this, you guys. I um, had a magnifying glass in my car on Amazon with the microscope and the bacteria dishes, but I was just gonna wait until we did all this before I ordered that. And I found a 99 cent magnifying glass. So super happy about that. We got this at Dollar Tree. I grabbed some cheaper pencils from Dollar Tree. 
Uh, we have some mechanical pencils from Dollar Tree. Uh, I thought that they would like these. These are those little cushions that you slip on your pencil so it like makes it more comfortable for writing from the Dollar Tree. I got some gold stickers from the Dollar Tree for their typing, the good and the beautiful typing. So um, I'm creating their own charts for each of them so that they can all use the same guide. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, check out my flip through, but there's a sticker you place on it when you complete that level. Obviously, I don't want four stickers over that, so I made a typing chart, so that's what those are for. Um, the, um, what are these called? Uh, pipe cleaners, Dollar Tree as well. Um, two of my kiddos already had fresh notebooks, but the two that didn't, I got these at the Dollar Tree. These are composition books, a butterfly one and a green one. And then these are um, three whole folders that will go inside their binders to house their science sheets that they'll be filling out from the good and the beautiful. So my girls got purple and the boys got blue. So that is going to be it for this supply shop with me slash day in the life slash come in my homeschool room while I put everything away. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would love to know how you do your homeschool shopping. Do you buy all new stuff every year or do you just inventory and get what you need? Um, I realize that it's not quite back to school season um, and that makes it kind of hard for me to like get, you know, really cutesy stuff, but we are starting in June and so we did need to get this done. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you need to shop anything that I've mentioned, I will link what I can down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. These are the Good and the Beautiful Science Box. I've pretty much compiled everything we're going to need for our whole um, first three months of the school year using this um, kingdom, Kingdoms and Classifications unit um, into this box so that I have it all ready to go. So um, like I showed in the beginning of the video, I made my list and then I put it in here. Now everything that I would normally have like kitchen utensils, scissors and things like that I don't put in here, but things specific to the science I do leave in this box so that they are all ready to go. So here is just a quick little overview of that. And I really feel like this just helps me um, be prepared ahead of time and it makes our science lessons more seamless. So this is just a little idea for you guys if you're using their science this year.